In this video, I'll show you exactly what to do to connect your flash drive, your USB flash drive to your Vizio TV. So let's get started. It's very easy. The first thing uh, you need to do is to make sure that your flash drive is formatted FAT32. If you want to be sure that it's formatted this way on your PC, you can click on the USB key, you just insert it, right click, and then press the format option right over there. Then once you click on this, you'll need to change the file system to FAT32. If it's not, you just need to click on it and select it from the drop down list. Okay. Then you'll go down and press the start button. You will get a warning message telling you that everything from the flash drive will be erased while formatting. So just make sure you make a backup before. Press OK. Next step is to make sure that the movie that you're putting on your flash drive or the music that you're putting on your flash drive is formatted in MP4 or MP3. Vizio's TVs are very peculiar. They only accept those two formats, at least until now. Okay, finally, you can connect your USB flash drive to the back of your Vizio TV. You should have a port. Maybe it doesn't look like this one over here, but it should be something similar. And then for the newer Vizio TV, you have a pop-up appearing on the screen where you can directly select and go into the files of the flash drive. But on older Vizio TV, you need to press the V logo on your remote control. Then you have to select multimedia like you see on the screen there. And then select your USB drive from the list. And then you have to select if you want to watch a video or use it as an audio player. So you have to select there and then you'll be able to have access to your files. If this didn't work, uh, there is a small thing you can try that doesn't uh, take much time is to unplug your Vizio TV from the wall. And during that five minutes you stay unplugged, press the power button, often located under the TV or on the back, press it during 30 seconds. This will not factory reset your TV. You won't lose anything, by the way. Then when you're done, you just have to plug it back and this uh, may fix your problem that you're having. So thanks for watching. Please leave a comment down below, a thumbs up. This is really helping me and I will see you in the next one.